Back at home in Quebec, Premier Robert Barassa gives the green light to the much-anticipated James Bay hydroelectric development in the north. A political battle ensues over the future project's management, which is eventually given to the Société d'Energie de la Baie James, a recently created subsidiary of Hydro-Quebec. In 1972, LVLVA incorporates under a holding company called Lavalin and wins a contract with Hydro-Quebec to supply 70% of the workforce for James Bay, now known as the project of the century. It showed that the James Bay development, the fact that we were associated with Bechtel on, the, on that project, uh, put us into the, really in the big league. And we, we could, uh, after that, go really hard at other big projects outside of Canada and in, in the international scene. Lavalin's involvement in James Bay includes working closely with First Nations communities to improve quality of life in the villages of the region. The firm sends two town planners to live in the Cree village of Fort George, and two of its inhabitants set up shop back at Lavalin's Montreal offices. Lavalin ultimately redesigns and relocates the entire village of Fort George, including its three-story church. Both the geography and cultural history of Quebec are forever transformed by this first phase of the James Bay Mega Project, which adds 10,000 megawatts to the province's energy grid and remains to this day one of the world's largest hydroelectric installations.